YouTube, what's going on? Justin Skaggs here from Style and Strings Across, and today I'm going to review the brand new ECM Hero Colors. I got my gray lid on, and I got a brand new stick that I just finished making. I used the East Coast Dyes Gray Hero Mesh Color System. I put, picked the uh, gray striker with a gray hero strings package. I also dyed up this brand new STX Superpower just so I had something cool to go with all this. Uh, I always wanted to make a little AT-AT stick, so bam, put that dude up there at the top, he's adorable. Overall, it's pretty much the exact same stuff you've grown to know and love from East Coast, just the colors are dope. This gray is by far my absolute favorite thing that they've come out with in a long time, um, and I even put it on one of their carbon gray shafts. This thing is just clean, it's sleek, and also it's, uh, you know, people are going much more towards just simple color schemes, and I couldn't be more happy with it. Um, I don't mind a little bit of flash, but sometimes it does become too much. This one in particular, the Gray Striker, is totally my style, and it's also not something that's going to be completely too flashy out on the field. They did come out with a really nice set of solid colors as well. I really love the red, I really love the blue. I've wanted a red and blue solid hero mesh for some time, and I know a lot of you guys did as well. I put the uh, East Coast Dyes Hero Strings in this, and if you guys have never used them, you definitely should. They got a little bit thicker of a sidewall structure uh, going on, so it's a little bit girthier than what you might expect from like a Gemilax or anything else that you would consider like standard. Um, and it does take a little bit more force to cinch down, but it does last a while longer. So uh, it's a little bit thicker, like I said, and with that, the knots will hold better as you just really wrench down on them. So I suggest a pair of pliers to get the maximum utility. Also, you have really, really awesome shooting strings. They're done with very soft materials, and you also get a very soft top woven nylon. So the top nylon is not made out of the same materials as the uh, sidewalls. It does look about the same on camera, I promise you they're different. This is very, very soft, and the point about all this is that it'll actually stretch, and you won't have to constantly manipulate them, because the hope is that it will stretch as the pocket wears and tears and uh, ages with the pocket. So I always really like this system, and this is my first all grayed out stick, so I want to say thank you to East Coast Dyes for sending this over. They actually sent it over to T-Bird, and I stole it. <laughs> so uh, I owe T-Bird a piece of mesh, and this mesh is absolutely awesome. You guys can find this in all of the Styland Strings pockets, kits, and you can buy it in the supply section if you want to build your own kit, or you just need something special. So next time, guys, take care. Keep waxing. I'm Tyler from Stylus Strings Lacrosse, and today we're going to show you guys how to make a modified box pocket in a NAS 2 featuring the all new Throne Fiber Mesh.